Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And somebody has been busy. Let's uh let's go take a look getting dark this is probably not the best time to be doing this but that's later was saying he's going to build the tower and looks like it's happening let's see what we got up here Plop. wow this is kind of neat relatively small footprint um fountain on the side of the building down to a little pool very cool uh, I have a feeling it gets a little dark in the center here yeah so we need to be careful exploring this as it gets dark at night I like the uh, the sort of window design here oh double story very nice so we are continuing on with the server tour. This is part of the server and that's very cool. Work in progress, but pretty slick. So we are now going to look at the areas to the west, right? This is west, facing west, yes. Uh, to the west of Spawn Island and the community area and I think we've looked at the community area so we're gonna go past that uh, so this is Netslayer Tower I'm not sure if he can, tends to give it a different name that was his old house there and his farms and stuff there which I've been to recently uh, but let's go over to this building here which is Bar Makes Things house she built a little tiny house back a little bit and then Oh, she's got her Iron Golem friends still up there. Meow. Yeah, it looks like the doctor's been here. Very nice. Hi, kitty. Galacticad. Arr, arr, arr. So, this is Barb Makes Things Place. And she's got... A pretty crazy setup down here <laughs> using black glass and white glass to make like clouds that probably should be black glass I bet uh, and it's difficult to is that a pac-man I don't know what that is anyway so this is there's a little forest down below and then you're up in the clouds here it's pretty wild um, so this is See if I remember how to get down. Oh, I like the beds, the bouncy beds of different colors. Rainbow bed. What good? Where does this go? So there's several different layers here, and there's the farms going on in the background. She's got her little stable area here where all the horses and such are. And then there's farms outside here. Sugar cane and melons and such. That's Lorax's tower. Oh, hello. Um, so we'll see, we'll go over there and see if there's been any update. But so this is this portion of the server is uh, mostly people's homes, bases, and whatnot. Wow, multiple layers. I get lost around here, so I don't know. Whoa! Uh, so this is storage area for the various um, maps that were created in order to make up all the different stuff mostly in the craft space building that's very cool and <laughs> oh goodness I'm assuming that goes down to a mining area so here's the forest down below this is pretty cool and you look up you can see the clouds there's all kinds of decorations down here and this should all be lit up enough that no worry about things spawning but you know hey you never know oh she's got a she's got a squid farm here 
Interesting. So anyway, this is uh, Barb Makes Things Place. Let's go over to Lawrex Tower and see what we can see. So these buildings over here are Eric Hulk's buildings, which are very cool. He's building small little places, a little village of them, which is awesome. And then this, of course, is Lawrex Tower. I don't see anything new in there. So this, of course, is Vex FX's castle. Um, we'll swing around to the front. And this is, whoa, nice little lag spike there. Loading all those entities. May have to do something about that. So this front entrance is up here. And he's got a big grand hall, fireplace, and um, big tall tower goes up here. Below here is where all the the good stuff is. He's got a library over here, and big atrium area here, and this is where the the poppy, the intermittent poppy prank is, which, as far as I know, has never gone off yet, or no one's seen it. So if it has gone off, no one has spotted one, but that's okay. I know it's there and there's more just hall buildings here. And then over here is his storage area. It's cats and dogs and he's got a potion brewing machine over here. And um, he's got farms back in behind and Brewing things and what's back here? Oh, this is firework crafting station for the fireworks display out front. So anyway, this is a big, big build and very impressive. And he's got a map of the area, which hasn't been updated super recently because it's missing a few things. But if we go back up to the top, we can go and look at risk and C's contribution to the spawn area. Um, so this is sort of the King's Hall over here. And there's a throne and everything and soldiers and all that good stuff. So oh, let's go back out here so we can get a view and oh hi Mr. Sheep. Very nice. So we have, uh, he's got a farm areas here, farm animals, and a little stable, and a bunch of horses, and farms, and all that good stuff. And then over here, XFX has a village, where he's got villagers doing farming, and then he's got mine card collection systems, and he's collecting all that stuff into chests over here. Um, <clears throat> and then... While that was all going on, we just can see who whose base is up there. He had built a big, long, just bridge, like one block wide bridge, all the way out over here, and then he built this giant mushroom tower and dug a big hole. Not for no real reason. He just wanted to dig a big hole. And then he built buildings over here, a little tower and um, out of felt or out of, yeah, out of uh, out of wool and then he put uh, there's a diving platform off there where in the, if you're, in theory if you're good you can land in the, some water down there and I think yeah. Vex FX replaced the water with the uh, carpet. So you can't really tell from up there, but it hurts when you land. So anyway, this is, uh, that's most of the spawn area. So let's move on a little bit farther west. We have a couple things actually nearby here. Just on this side over here, we have what we call the cove. 
this big diagonal spike of land is somebody's marker for where their base is. They have a little underground cave that they don't have a door or anything. It just, uh, you know, they have to dig their way in. Um, so I'm not quite sure whose it is or what's down there. And then over here we have the cove. Another nice big lag spike. To figure out what's causing those lag spikes. There's got to be a large number of entities somewhere. So this is a neat little area. VexFX mostly did this and then um, lots of parrots and stuff. Because it's a pirate cove area, which is great. Uh, Bart makes things made this little textile mar market. Uh, I'm supposed to be building a boat. Oh, there's a bunny. Uh, boat rentals, which is going to become even more important with the uh, aquatic update, update aquatic. So we'll work on that. And then VexFX built this big pirate ship. Very impressive. Oh, he's got a little plank to get up on it. And we've got trapped villagers as crew. It's pretty cool. So this was here and we had a lightning strike which burned down a good chunk of the ship and it had to be rebuilt which was not a lot of fun but uh, captain's quarter back here plop captain featherbeard anyway he's got some loot and some stuff there very cool and then this goes down inside the ship anyway so that's uh that's the cove it's a pretty cool little area so, let's fly farther out west, and there are a few more things out there to show you on our little server tour. So initially I scoped out this desert area here for the pyramid, and then I went about flattening it. So after I flattened a good chunk of the mountain that was here, uh, I realized this area was nowhere near big enough for the pyramid, and I had to abandon it. And then we we built a few things in here so that this is where the iron farm is let's see how this is going oh yeah not bad okay uh, so this is uh, now in reach of or I think this this is loaded Blop. very nice so this is building back up again which is good uh, this is now loaded. I think I talked about this just recently. When Lawrex Tower is, uh, somebody's in the tower there, this is loaded and it's functioning. So we're actually getting, for what it is, I mean, basically it's it's a small, it's, you know, three villages, right, with enough doors to be able to spawn golems on here. It's a relatively small iron farm, but it, it does reasonably well. So uh, I've, I've, pulled a bunch of iron out of this thing and so has everyone else and we still have a bunch of blocks so it's doing pretty good uh, and then air Hulk built another ship over here a little viking ship which is pretty cool and then here we have the the music disc farm which isn't exactly working for that purpose at the moment but it is a we do have the different records in here uh, but it, it has a little Dark room spawner down here, which works pretty well, and we also have um, right. And then this here is a sorter that sorts out uh, creepers. In theory, uh, sorts them out over here so that these little ow oh, so that these skeletons can shoot at them and create records. Oh, there's a few, there's a few, uh, a few mobs here. Ah! Stupid witches. Oh. There we go. So this is, I think VexFX sort of figured that this was kind of an optimal AFK point for spawning mobs in the mob farm. It's a 
similar to in design to the darkroom mob farm underneath my base. There must be a torch under there. Uh, it's a little bit larger. He's, he had more space to work with. So it, it pops out, you know, the same, the same kind of stuff. Um, he hasn't been pulling stuff out of the system, so there's a fair amount of it. What do we have in overflow, if anything? Yeah, we have a few things. Okay. So, which drops and arrows and all that good stuff. So this is this is nice. And then next door is a flower farm for the double height flowers. So you can get all the flowers and dyes that you need in the basic colors. Uh, but this is so this is our little mini farm area. And then if we go out farther west, we have a couple more things. We have Pete and Smash's place and the amusement park. So from here, if we go out this way, and there's a little roadway that goes out this way and then stops being paved. But if you go a little bit further, you get out to Pete and Smash's place. Not lose the, lose the trail here. Uh, it's out near. Oh, look at all those flowers. So here's the, here's their place. So they've got farms and they've got a little purper farm. And I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, but there's sugarcane and and then their base is primarily underground. And let's go find that. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not finding their front door. Hey, dude, look at you all fancy with your glowing armor. Um, oh, I want to go over that way. I think, as I said, it's, it's really close to the stronghold. Well, in fact, they've got lights down there. What's going on down there? And when I found the stronghold, I dug a thing up. Oh, I want to go check that out. Uh, I dug a ladder straight up to the surface, and it was up here. And bloop, came up. Oh, hey, doggy. And cat. Oh, kitty. Oh, wow. Uh, and so this goes down to the stronghold, which goes out to the end. Uh, interesting. Uh, you know what? Dump a few more things off here. And this was the mesa we restarted mining stuff at. Oh, this is a neat little bridge. I like the, the lighting. Um, and Pete and Smash came and built this little building here. Um, some of these structures, I think, were Risk and see. Trying to establish landmarks in the Mesa. Uh, anyway, you've seen the stronghold and the end, so we don't need to see that. But, if we continue going out this way, and we don't get lost, there are a couple more things. Oh, here's one of them. Ow. I'm glad I recovered from that. So this is the roller coaster that Barb Makes Things did, and she did a big long uh, series of videos on it. Uh, the ride is very long. <laughs> um, and it's very cool and there's some really interesting things like a big drop down the middle of a, of a big artificial tree and yeah it's pretty cool so we have a we have another portal for this oh yeah that's right you go through a uh, thing with lava it's a, it can be a little scary so this is one of the two things out this way let me eat glad you can eat while you're flying uh, and then I believe just over this way is the amusement park okay cool you know it wasn't that far away so i've been over here fairly recently um there's a desert temple that just happens to be here we've got a racetrack and a dunk tank thing that doesn't work as well as oops okay and this is where the bounce house is is getting built um, 
So work in progress. Oh, hey, bunny. Oh, let's see if the bunny can hop higher when they're on slime blocks. Hey, look what I got. Look what I got. Come on. Are you stuck? Can you not hop on the slime blocks? You know I have a carrot, but look at how slowly you're moving. So this uh, bounce house is a little bit proof positive that uh, things can spawn on slime blocks. Because uh, we came across some creepers that are spawning up on the wall. So they had to adjust the light in a little bit. And this, I believe, is a tower to jump and have fun bouncing off the floor of the bounce house. Let's see how tall this is. 120 blocks-ish. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a little, that's a little disconcerting. But if we jump, whoa, bong. Oh, you do pretty good. Nice. Uh, okay, and then the, the slime farm is down underneath here. Let's see how much more progress the floor has been has been made on the floor. I've also been in this area recently, and this is that scary drop where you can sort of bounce your way out. Okay, look at this. So I keep expanding stuff and digging out all of the stone down to bedrock and just putting black glass over it so it's it's a very cool look um and keep digging back oh look abandoned mine shaft oh there's another slime chunk over there it looks like very cool anyway so this is the uh slime farm more abandoned mine shaft up there from the looks of it a little ravine over here <laughs> so this i'm sure it gets to be a bit of a pain in the butt to to work on as you run into those kinds of features but but here we go so that's the stuff that's immediately to the west of the spawn area there are a few more far-flung things that we will cover in the next episode thank you for watching this is theron it's been minecraft land party and i'll see you next time bye